Hello, hello everybody. How are you today? I, I am here to share information and answer questions about the upcoming Creatively Fit Coach training. Oh, I always get so excited. Um, I am going to um, love receiving your questions. I can see comments here. So if you have any questions or comments, please post there. Uh, I'm going to wait a second. I know there are some people that are logging on um, to watch. So let me start first, uh, just while we wait, give everyone a little bit of background in case you don't know. So um, I launched the Creatively Fit Coaching Training in September 2010, 13 years ago. Um, wow. And it was inspired by completely uh, a woman who emailed me from Nigeria asking me if I had an African branch. Um, it was a long, passionate email uh, that was sharing with me kind of the plight of women in her country and how she really felt like my program would help. And yeah, did I have someone there? And my ego at the time, my logical, rational brain was like, do I have an African branch? Like, I don't have a twig or a leaf or a stick, or anything. It's just me. And a couple months earlier, while in New York at a book signing, a young woman had asked if I taught people how to teach art the way I did. And my answer immediately was, I'm working on that. I mean, I wasn't working on that. But that answer was um, reflective of the resonance that that question felt because um, the way I've taught has always been um, very accessible, very simple and creating space within which other people can step into their way of painting creative expression. So um, that email felt so out of less left field and I wanted to reply back right away like wow thank you for sharing but you know I can't help you but again because of the energy in the email I waited 24 hours and I recommend this I'm going to add this set of meditations to the next app I highly recommend when you're making decisions you know ask it out loud and wait 24 hours and see you know if you get affirmed or you know, which way you're guided. So within 24 hours, two people in this little county where um, I was then just visiting of 7,000 people, two people brought up Nigeria. So I went back to that email and replied just completely open. And the result was, you are clearly online. I have online programs. I can bundle them together. We can meet regularly. It takes a village. I'll recruit women in the States to join. Um, they will pay, you won't, it takes a village, and at the end, you'll all be certified creatively fit coaches. <laughs> so just as people crossed my path or, you know, I didn't put it on my website then or anything, I just had a, like a PDF. And as people came into my, you know, email box or crossed my path, I just got curious and was like, hey, I wanna share with you this project. I called it Project Nigeria. Um, and within weeks, I had like 13 women in the States and Vivian in Nigeria, and we launched the first training. Then I put it on my website very, very quietly because that inner critic voice, just trying to protect me, right? Was like, um, girl, you don't have any certifications in anything. And what business do you have certifying people? So I put it on the website and I remember thinking, okay, universe, if you want this to happen, like you need to let me know, I'm not gonna force this. That January, 2011, I had 18 women sign up for the coaching training and it's been game on ever since. And I think, and you all who are coaches will, you know, you can comment. I know you'll see this either now or later, but the community, that has been created through this certification is astounding, frankly, worth the price of admission. Um, coaches are constantly collaborating, meeting together regionally, um, collaborating with me, with each other. Uh, they feel like they, like just at the end of the training, people feel like they've met lifelong friends. Um, it's incredible. It's an incredible 
group of people. So that being said, the organization of the training is all online and the content of the training is available 24 seven. You have lifetime access. So nothing goes away. Like, I mean, even as we add things to it, even if you did the training two or three years ago, you still get access to that new content. Um, there are no mandatory ongoing contracts or fees or anything like that. For me, it feels like we all agreed to find each other uh, uh, on planet Earth at this time to help reawaken the creative spirit within each person. Um, and I get to be the lucky one ringing the bell this time around. Maybe you did it last time. Um, so there is a, a sense of calling um, into this circle and into this call. Um, I have always been a bridge person. So what I teach and how I teach this training is meant to be accessible and relatable to people that you know, you've heard them like, oh, I'm not creative. I wish I could paint, but I can't do that. Well, you can. Um, and with this process that the Creatively Fit Coaches and I use, it's super, super accessible and highly multidimensional. I mean, what I teach you in the coaching training is basically how I do everything, like between how to organize events in person, virtual, um, how to teach any kind of painting subject. Many of you have taken the Tara course, you know, there's Tara compared to owls, compared to I am the unstoppable dream. Uh, it, it all uses the same basic uh, format or procedure or, or what am I, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like the painting practice, it's broken down into four layers and within each of those layers are infinite possibilities. Um, so the content is all there videos outlines for workshops in-person workshops um coaching how to coach people through vision quest how to coach people as a creatively fit coach um there is a lot of content so it's good you have lifetime access it's always there always available um business content marketing content video editing content. Um, you create a three-part video workshop as part of the training. Some people do it as an offering. Some people do it as a personal exercise. Some people do it to create a paid course, a free course um, to grow their list, to offer when they speak, you know, on telesummits, things like that. So there's very practical aspects to the training as well as very abstract, intuitive, spiritual sides to it. Um, so, the online content is available. You log in at WhitneyFreyaStudio.com. It's all there. Then the the high touch aspect of this is um, is really great. I mean, you have to show up, right? But we do group calls, and then there are open studios. So group calls are the official training calls, and those happen um, twice a month. Uh, they almost always start at 2 p.m. Pacific, which is 5 p.m. Eastern. That way our um, Creatively Fit coaches in Australia and New Zealand can join in. And, um, and then the open studios are offered every week, the first three months. And then in the second part of the training, um, people in the training have an opportunity to lead open studios. So the open studios, are a way for the guides. So there are creatively fit coaches. There are um, about 12 who serve as guides during your training. And this is level four of the training. So they're showing up as a certified creatively fit coach with the training under their belt. Some of them did it years ago. Some of them just finished. So that as someone in the training, you get to experience this process and this practice, this coaching through many different people, which we found to be highly beneficial. It is not the Whitney show. Um, the guides lead um, most of, I lead a couple, but most of the group calls um, during the first three months of the training and then I lead all the others. Um, and this is so that you, again, get to see how this um, process works through people. Um, and then once you are, let me mention this, once you complete the training, um, some coaches, like take what they've learned and weave it into all the other medicine in their medicine bag and share it their way. And I love that. They're, you know, I mean, as long as you're not taking my content word for word and passing it off as your own, 
I want you to use it. That's why I do that. Hi, Karen. Um, other coaches um, use the outlines. Creatively Fit Coaches can use any of my online programs as their content. So you can say, hey, I'm going to guide a group through Tara. Uh, that is $111 retail, you maybe offer it for $333 or $500 and you're, you're using or adding open studios and one-on-one -on -one or group coaching as part of your Tara package. Um, you just pay me 50% of the 111 and you keep all the rest. Anything else you teach, like Karen Gillette is here. Karen um, is teaching so many people in the Boise area in person um, using processes um, that she learned as a creatively fit coach. April Small coaches tons of people in person. I'm just thinking of people that come to mind. Other people are creating online programs. Um, Kim Sales, Janice Gallant uh, are, are teaching online um, and creating online programs. And so in other words, there's as much structure as you want to plug in outlines and formats and content, or you can make it your own. I really I love and appreciate both ways. Remember, I have no formal art training, opened my art center in um, 96, May of 96, with no formal art training. I never even painted on a canvas when I opened the doors. So again, I feel like um, we're moving into a future where everybody is aware of the power and the need to have a creative practice. And so um, this doesn't feel like my content. It feels like um, it, it's, is, will be, should be common knowledge. Um, so, uh, what else? Um, how much time does it take each week? Depends on, you know, how you work, but, um, four to six hours a week seems to be, um, enough. What is more important is to, um, like if I had to suggest, it would be to spend an hour, an hour and a half a day, three to four days a week um, and, you know, get the brush in the paint and onto the canvas. It's just like getting physically fit, you know, getting creatively fit. The more you do it and the more irreverent you are with it, uh, the more it weaves into your life. So what we're doing as a creatively fit coach, whether it's online, in person, coaching, one on one, all the things. What we're doing is creating space within which people feel relaxed and supported and free to try without worrying so much about making a mistake or not being good enough, right? The old creative story is based on Western capitalist things always, hi, Cynthia, things only have value if someone will pay you money for it. We're reminding people that we are all creating our reality in each and every moment. The only question is if you're doing it with or without awareness. And we all know a world created without awareness, so we are um, reminding people how to do that. Um, so the new creative story is about creating the art that is your life, your way, following your heart, which has the word art in it. So we create that space and you learn how to do that in the coaching training. Um, then as people, one, they learn the painting made easy practice that we share. So they learn how to create an acrylic painting from start to finish. Then we explore sacred symbols and this intuitive language that is speaking to us all the time. That if you're seeing, you know, hummingbirds or cactus everywhere, or snakes or panda bears or spirals, paint that there's information that you will receive likewise in the magical manifestation painting section in the earth module of vision quest you we learn how to plant the seeds that we want to grow into the art that is our life in a painting any of these sections like just that can be a workshop a retreat a coaching module um, so you're constantly shown how to use this, this different content in so many different ways um, once people experience those things, they're also learning how to develop um, self-awareness and how to get to know themselves better and how to make choices. Um, so many of you have learned how to rein in your perfectionism or your inner critic and choose when those aspects of you are serving you and not. Uh, we learn that at the canvas, right? So as a creatively fit coach where 
we're peeling back the layers and showing people all the different ways um, going to the canvas creates that space where you get quiet, you're alone, you're going within, and you're tapping into that higher level of consciousness. Um, so what else, ladies? What else have I um, asked? I know um, there is uh, a new member of the studio in here who um, we've been messaging on Instagram and asking about the connection, um, doing something online versus in person. So if any of you coaches who've done the training can speak to that. Um, you do, I mean, since it is online, the way you connect is through the Zooms and whether it's the group calls, the open studios, um, and then of course the private Facebook group. Um, so if you're showing up, you really, really get to know each other. Um, and it's highly, um, interactive and, um, and, you know, of course, if you don't join, don't click join now, open up Zoom, um, then sure, you know, it's online. There's like, that's an is, but I can say that most of us, um, I have met both Karen and Cynthia who are um, commenting here. Uh, if it's say hi and let me know where you are if you're not a creatively fit coach. If you're a creatively fit coach, I know where you are. Um, but like, for example, there's a creatively fit coach coming to the retreat this October in a couple of weeks. And I had to email something to her. I'm like, have we seriously not met yet? Like, I really feel like I've met her. There are so many coaches that um, if you ask me real quick right now, have you met this person in, in real life? I, I would probably say yes or have to think. And I know, of course, there are several that I haven't. You really feel like you get to know each other. Yeah, so Karen's um, mentioning that. Um, and then post training, so it's a seven month training, um, but then level four of the training, which isn't required. Um, we just haven't made it required because I don't want to force anyone to do anything. Um, you can serve as a guide. So you get to go through the training all over again, um, but you're showing up to support and help people. Hi, Sharon. Um, and that is amazing. Um, so the seven month training, you could say it's a 14 month training. So like if you do the training that starts um, this week in September, uh, next September, you'd be able to serve as a guide. Right now we do the training September 21st and March 21st each year on the Equinox. Um, it's about bringing ourselves into balance, right? Right brain, left brain, intuitive, logical. Um, and then like a lot of you just participated in the Yes Extravaganza. So that was a collective, uh, creatively fit coach, kind of inspired and sponsored event. Um, hey, Patricia, I used to live in Nashville. Um, that, uh, the Yes Extravaganza was all of us working together. I provided graphics and email templates and social media posts and encouraged coaches to um, Lee, I think Karen led a Yes Extravaganza workshop. Um, people did open studios um, because painting yes is so visceral, right? Many of you experienced that. So we wanted to share this painting practice in a really simple way um, as the collective, as Creatively Fit Coaches. Um, Creatively Fit Coaches also are invited, like the Festival of Feminine Power and Artistry is an online program that's at WhitneyFerrisStudio.com. There are... Um, 18 lessons and we had two special guests, myself, and then all the other lessons are creatively fit coaches that were invited to participate. Uh, also the 24 hour paint jam, um, we had different creatively fit coaches leading in that. So there's opportunities to grow your audience, to practice teaching online, all the things through those kinds of events. Um, also, as a creatively fit coach, you are an affiliate. So you have an affiliate link. You can share and earn 20% of what other people, you know, purchase through your affiliate link. And I was thinking of another collaborative thing, but I'm forgetting. Um, as an example, I am, I've got to plug in my computer. I am planning on visiting Australia this early March and um, the first people I'm going to reach out to are the creatively fit coaches in Australia and say, Hey, I think they're all ladies there. What do we want to do? 
right? Um, I've visited, uh, I've met Cynthia in Florida, did an event with Creatively Fit Coach um, Maria uh, Bianca. Sorry, I heard on Facebook, it's Maria Bianca Alonso. And, um, and then I went and visited Creatively Fit Coach Magda Petru, and then Tammy Roth and I, she's a Creatively Fit Coach, created the Unstoppable Dream Recovery Coach Train, which is now the next training starts in January. Um, hi, Via. Oh, Sylvia is in the coaching training. Um, Leanna, hi, Leanna, up in Washington. Um, Junko, hi, Junko. Okay, Art by Moonbeam. Hi, Denise. Wow, all of a sudden, Colleen getting ready to pull the trigger on signing up. Oh, good, Colleen, yay. Um, okay, Art by Moonbeam, do any of your trained coaches open private studios or do they only do online classes? No. Um, so Karen, uh, maybe you can share. So Karen teaches, so there are multiple ways to do the in-person. So one, I'm pretty sure Karen teaches in different locations, including her home and then other studios and um, teaching spaces. Uh, I just emailed back and forth with Heather Hansen. Um, she has her own studio in um, Asheville, North Carolina. Tony Carboni, who's in Massachusetts, she has her own in-person studio as well. Um, I used to teach at Sherry, Sherry, Sherry's studio in Florida. I don't think she has that anymore, but um, she had an amazing studio in Florida. Nadine Hamill, who Sandy I talked to today. Anyway, Nadine Hamill had a, a studio up in Tacoma, Washington. She now lives in Mexico. So those are just the ones that come to mind. So yes, um, any of the, yes, trained coaches do open private studios. I mean, I had a bricks and mortar studio from 96 to 2010. Um, so can absolutely speak to that. Um, and I would encourage you, Art by Moonbeam, um, to, so the first thing I would recommend, because I know you are already teaching, sharing, and have an intuitive painting practice, um, is one, you could find existing spaces where you could teach. Um, I mean, of course, it's lovely to have your own tailored space and it's a lot of, you know, time and money so you can get started and start developing a following and an audience by teaching in different spaces. Um, when I traveled a lot before COVID, um, all I did when I taught in person, I was always teaching somewhere else in person. So like in Seattle, they have all of those um, community centers um, I teach there. I've taught at the kind of sip and stroke places. I've taught at other people's studios. Um, like it, it's never been difficult to find a studio to teach in. Um, so yes. Uh, does that answer your question? Um, sorry, I think Art by Moonbeam. So let me see if there are any other questions. Um, Amy. Yeah. Amy, I cannot wait to see you next week. Um, you've painted with Nadine. Okay. So uh, Sandy DeWitt also lives in Tacoma. I just talked with her today. She's um, joining the Unstoppable Dream Recovery Coach Training, but she's coming to the retreat next week. Anyway, or two weeks. Anyway, super exciting. But that's so fun that you've painted with Nadine. So Nadine, um, I do believe she had that studio, full disclosure, before she joined the training, but... Um, a lot of what she taught, you know, was very creatively fit coach. I stayed with Nadine in Tacoma back in 2014 when I led a retreat on Bainbridge Island. Um, and Katie, yeah, Katie, no, oh, it really is. I think, I mean, I love you all so much and I just get to know the creatively fit coaches, right? Um, and we're a team and you all motivate me to expand and to keep growing and reaching more people. Like if it was just about me, I feel like I'd just lose interest somehow or something. I don't know, it's different because we're doing it together. Um, I love the community. I'm grateful every day um, for the Creatively Fit Coach family. I feel, I feel supported and um, in all the ways and, and they get that back from everybody. It's really, really a magical group. Um, oh, that's so fun. Yeah, so you could reach out to Nadine for sure. Um, 
she is uh, she is in Mexico and I know she's still on Facebook and everything right and Sharon sorry Sharon geez Sharon has a studio in Galveston Texas um, yeah group dynamic momentum yes hi Maria awesome okay so ladies what am I forgetting any questions you're gonna paint a lot during the training um, there's painting and meditation with super soul flow um, creatively fit coaches also get 30% off like my other normal online courses not any of the trainings but um, the normal things they get 30% off um, we do creatively fit coach only types of experiences live when we retreat like when I go to Australia um, we'll probably do something just for creatively fit coaches and then something for everybody um, sound baths oh heck yeah yes yes um, okay well wow ladies I'm excited I'm excited Colleen to welcome Colleen in thank you Colleen um, pull the trigger sister it is um, it is an, it's an amazing experience and um, there's so much caring um, and you'll hear me say in the orientation call like one I don't believe if you've taken Tara you've seen me say this I don't believe in the b-e-h-i-n-d word because everything's working out perfectly and um, we get to experience like sometimes people tell me like oh I got behind and I didn't paint for two weeks and now I oh I'm so excited to get back to it so now you know what it's like to not paint for two weeks and then you're gonna paint for two weeks like there is nothing but uh, like radical acceptance for the process and then a continual focus reminder what do you want what do you want right now we don't focus on getting off schedule or things getting busy newsflash like hello that happens to everybody what do you want right now um, and of course everything's recorded um, the guides I mean you have like 12 guides plus me plus Angela Murray who's the master coach who helps mention everything just like all the courses you comment below any of the lessons I get all those messages I read everything I respond you know unless it's like I love this great you know whatever I read everything so it's highly interactive um, we are highly accessible um, I don't think anyone's ever like not been able to reach me unless I was on the river or something right um, <laughs> yes okay everyone so without this going too long if you have any other questions um, so we the program launches Thursday um, it's the official kickoff people are joining the groups getting their supplies all the things the welcome call is September 26th and why do we do that because it gives you time to kind of get to know the online content um, to kind of dip your feet in so that by the time we meet you feel um, like you're connected you found the Facebook group you are getting your supplies and really ready to go so um, so I highly recommend yes the the first the kickoff call is September 26th at 2 p.m. Pacific so that we will be the doors will be open until it's full up until the 26th yay okay everyone well thank you for being here in the Whitney Freya studio group this group rocks as well sharing your paintings if I ever need to give myself a boost I can always pop into this group and fill up on all the beauty and all the heart you know I think that's the biggest thing that we're all really unified in all of us all of us is that we understand how powerful connecting to this creative practice in all the ways any way is and ultimately it's giving all of us permission to be as authentic as possible and to express ourselves and get to know how we create where we get stuck and how to get unstuck um, working with sacred symbols is amazing. Um, Creatively Fit Coach Kim Sales is about to launch her um, beta version of her new Sacred Soul Symbol Certification course. Um, it's just awesome. There are so many millions of people on this planet right now that still say, I'm not creative 
doesn't mean they have to paint the rest of their lives, but we want them to get to a place where they confidently say, I am creative. I create every day in every moment. I am in touch with my creative spirit. I know that I make a difference and I know I can create change just starting within. It starts with each of us, one brushstroke at a time, right? Oh, and um, I'm still working away. I'm not B-E-H-I-N-D. I'm just allowing the muse to um, paint through me, but I am creating a brand new online course that kind of feels like the course I should have created a long time ago, but no shoulds. Um, that is going to be available for an extra fee, of course, but for creatively fit coaches who want to have an online course ready to go that I interact with you to create the course, um, you'll learn more about that, but that you can invite people into. It's, um, it's called Rise Above, a Transformational Painting Challenge, and um, it's, it's going to be, it's, it's awesome. I've created almost half of it so far, and I'm just in a state of awe after every lesson. So, yay! Um, so it's always expanding and growing, and I'm always um, feeling into how can I help the coaches reach more people um, with more grace and ease, and how can we all reach more people and shift them from fear to love at the canvas and with their creative spirits. So. Yeah, thank you, Denise. You're welcome. Okay, everyone. Mwah. Email me, WhitneyFreya at gmail.com. I'll check comments here, but there are already so many comments. WhitneyFreya at gmail.com. Any of the emails you're getting from me, just reply to any of those emails if you have a question. And uh, the biggest thing is to feel the resonance. Most people that join the training, um, oh, sweet, Colleen, above your music store. Oh, exciting. Um, most people who join this training feel the call way more than the logic. They're like, I don't know why I'm doing this. They know by the end, right? It's, it's a magical carpet ride for sure. Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, okay. See you soon. Bye. Clearly I could talk forever, right?